Now, the latest developments on the battle to bring medical marijuana to Rhode Island. Days after the state denies all of the Compassion Center applications, outraged patients protest, demanding that the new law be followed. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the details. The patients who tell us they need medical marijuana say they've waited far too long for the Compassion Centers to open. To get medicine out to people that need it. Protesters expected a ribbon cutting by December of 09. At least one open, and here we sit. So they brought their fight to the Department of Health. There are so many people out there that do not have pain relief. They do not deserve this. Nine applicants for the dispensaries did not meet the state's minimum requirements, and the other six presented applications with too many pages. We're also frustrated by this, too. The Department of Health tells us there's compassion for the patients, but... We also want to make sure that that compassion center is safe, effective, and provides the best possible service for all of the patients who are registered in the program. The state, meanwhile, is streamlining its application requirements and ready to reopen the process by October. But for patients in pain, it will not be soon enough. We do have some patients that are self-sufficient and are doing well, but as more and more patients come in, more and more patients are going without. But the compassion centers are not opening anytime soon. According to the Department of Health, it could be another five months before anyone is even approved to open one. With the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.